I grew up in South Africa in an amazing suburb called Clifton with the ocean, beautiful beaches. And my high school sweetheart, Taco, who I'm married to, we lived there when we first got married. And I had the opportunity to come to study in the States again. And he, you know, insisted, yes, you're going to do your doctorate. I had just had my second son. So you can imagine how I was feeling. Ocean versus PhD, babies versus studying, it just didn't gel. But in my heart of hearts, I knew God was saying, it's time. My mentality was, well, if I'm all in, that means going the whole way, right? That's full-time ministry. Well, his thoughts for me were, no, you're going to be a professor in Kalamazoo. It's like, what? I'm so glad I didn't know that initially because I probably would have hit and run a mile and pretended he never said that. But whether it's Timbuktu or Kalamazoo, you go where he wants you. The teacher in me would obviously want to bring the pure truth and the Word of God, but I'm blessed by the fact that I'm a business professor and I can teach on leadership and do and change management. So many of the principles that underlie most of those theories is biblical. So I definitely bring truth. I can bring what the Holy Spirit's saying without saying His name. Student lives are being changed because God loves those students and for many of them, they won't put foot in a church. And yet, I can bring His presence and even His words to them. And if God can talk through a donkey, He can talk through me, and He has. Kalamazoo being a university town, what does it draw? It draws people from multiple states throughout this nation. It draws people from around the world. So these students that you develop relationships with from all over the world, so they come in, you bond, and then they go home. And Radiant has an incredible opportunity and responsibility to spread the gospel that way by these people going back to their home nations and recreating much of what God's doing in this nation and in this city. Every time there's a major line in the sand moment where God's saying, okay, now I need you to do this. And I'm usually having a tantrum within myself. Not that, God. I know it's in those moments. Just healed. Just give it to Him and trust that He knows what's best. And those are the moments where a miracle has been induced. Every time that I've yielded the pattern of that, he is, He's come through for me. And it's needed to be a miracle on so many levels. Because I, I am a wonder in the sense that there's no way that that beach bum could ever have become an academic. And, and he did it.